Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are looking at... What the hell is this thing? I mean, is this even human? I mean, just look at these freaking legs. I mean, this, this beats Tom Platt's by, by a long shot. Like, I, I've never been so impressed by a physique. I mean, this is bodybuilding. This is what bodybuilding is all about. I mean, yeah, you might say that maybe he is not the most shredded guy here. Maybe he doesn't have the best, the crazy separation. But look at this muscularity and look at the conditioning as well. I mean, what the hell are we even looking at here? This is insane. This is this is not human. I remember him from uh, his IBB Elite Pro days and uh, he was nowhere near this good. Look at the back as well. Like, the back pose, I mean, the legs from behind and the back itself, it's good, it's very good. So like I said, in the IVB Elite Pro, he wasn't that good, he was barely cracking the top 5, top 6. And here, he is completely annihilating every single... Look at these guys next to him, like, they're great bodybuilders as well, this is super heavyweight bodybuilding. They're also very good, but next to him they look like, I don't know, junior competitors. I mean, he's dwarfing them, he's killing them. I mean, look at all this mass. I'm sure all of you guys know that this is Rubiel Mosquera, also known as uh, Nexilla, having his MPC debut at the EVLS Prague Pro. And he's going to turn pro at this show. And hopefully tomorrow we will see him against the top pros, like Samson Dauda, like Mikkel Krijan, Ethan Yasha, Horse MD now as well, and some other great bodybuilders. And I think he's going to do some serious damage at the pro show if he does it. I can see him in the top three battling it against uh, Krijan and Samson. I can see him beating Nathan Diasha and Horse MD, I would say, rather easily. I mean, this freak factor cannot be unnoticed i mean you have to reward it and also he brought very good conditioning i gotta say during his elite pro days he wasn't the most conditioned guy that was an issue like he wasn't super shredded but here right now the conditioning is good it's solid it's a very very good conditioning much much better than ever before also, his stomach is looking very good, and that was a problem area for him before. Now he's controlling it really well. Back also came up. Chest came up as well. I mean, look at the back. It's not weak at all. And, uh, I mean, as you can see, his neck is humongous. And I don't think that's really helping his physique. It made him popular before. Like I said, his nickname is Nexilla because he had, like, the biggest neck ever. But now that, that he made all these gains, I mean, that he grew this much, that he proved that he doesn't have only uh, genetics for growing his uh, traps and his neck, but actually for growing his entire body, especially legs. Now he's proving to be a mass monster, one of the most impressive mass monsters in today, right now. Maybe the most impressive one. Like, I don't know, man, who is bigger than him? Who in the world right now can match this size? Who is this big? I mean, sure, Carlos Thomas Jr. has some freaky body parts. Like, he also has crazy leg size and crazy arm fullness. But he's a shorter guy and uh, Rubiel actually has a decent height. You know, so he's a, he's a mass monster, a proper mass monster, and he brought it to this show, he brought conditioning. And like I said, I don't remember being uh, this impressed for a, for a while, like with somebody's freak factor, right? And also, it's crazy that this guy is actually only 28 years old, guys, 28 years old. And I really didn't expect much from this guy, because like I said in Elite Pro, he wasn't that good, like the structure wasn't very good, uh, the stomach didn't really look very nice, and his conditioning was always off. But now, I don't see a limit for this guy, for this 28 years old bodybuilder. He just proved to me that he can improve, like really fast. Look at his most muscular as well. He is killing everybody here. This guy needs to go to pros ASAP. ASAP tomorrow and dominate over there as well. Maybe not win. I don't know if he can beat Samson, but he will be the freakiest guy in that open show, in that pro show for sure. He's going to he's going to be more impressive than Samson. I'm pretty sure about that. And Mikhail Krizo. Maybe he won't beat them. Maybe he's not as complete and maybe his physique doesn't flow as well as of yet. He needs to work on his symmetry and stuff like that, but as far as freak factor, as far as the size, as far as how impressive he is going to look, even on that stage, 
Yeah, I think he's gonna do really well. I can see him in top three. I wouldn't be too surprised if he even won that show and beat Samson Dauda. I mean, that's a, that's a tall order. I have no idea what he's gonna look like next to those guys, next to the actual best bodybuilders in the world, you know, top three, top seven, Krizio and Samson. So anything is possible. But looking at this video, yeah, I think he can match them. I'm pretty sure he can. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. In case you're wondering if he's even gonna be able to turn pro, well... This is his uh, toughest competition, I would say, uh, this guy right here from heavyweight category, so one category below the super heavyweight, and yeah, this guy has really nice flow, I mean, he's also really big and like really conditioned, and he came in ready, and I'm sure this guy will also be a pro, but not at this show, no, 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 he cannot beat Rubil, <laughs> no, not at this show, I don't think anybody comes close to that monster, to that freak that Rubil Mosquera is. Let's take a look at this close-up video from backstage and the only pose that I don't really like of him is his front double but everything else is really good. You can see right here that his conditioning is good. Like He is definitely dry, he's hard, as conditioned as he can be for this density of the muscle. Before this show I thought his thickness was so overwhelming that his separation won't even show because his muscle is so dense. And yeah, sure, that is true to a point, but he got really lean. He can get really lean, and with this level of body fat and this level of muscularity, he looks conditioned. He does look very conditioned. I would say more conditioned than Samson Dauda from the back. Samson doesn't have this lower back separation or the glute striation or even the hamstrings, I would say. And from the front, maybe he has deeper separation in the quads, but... He doesn't have this mass. I mean, who has this kind of quad mass? I haven't seen this in my entire life, ever. Big Ramy can't match this. Like I said, uh, Rubiel Mosquera used to compete in IFBB Elite Pro, and you guys know that Michal Krizio was the star of IFBB Elite Pro for a long time, he was dominating over there, winning pretty much every show, and he knows Rubiel from that era, from back then, and he had a comment on this. By the way, I found all this footage and all these interviews on AJ Kelly Roberts' Instagram page, he is over there, he's doing a great job, so Michal Krizio is competing tomorrow. And he's probably gonna compete against Rubiel if he turns pro, and we all know he will. So, Michal Krizio had a comment on Rubiel, and he was honest, he was genuine, he was humble, as usual, he's a great guy, I gotta say. And uh, here is what uh, Michal Krizio had to say about Rubiel. Okay, so, you just saw Rubiel, are you impressed with what he brought today? Uh, I saw him only on uh, Instagram, yeah. photos and videos, but I think uh, he's doing uh, big improvements uh, when he's uh, reached from LA. Bro. Condition was better than before? Uh, very better. Very better? Yes, okay. uh, because in the light Pro, I think he's not good. Really? He wasn't so good, so he's better now? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can hear, Krizio knows what time is it. He knows that Rubiel improved a ton, but is he gonna be able to beat him and some others, like Horse MD, like Nathan Diash, like Roman Fritz? I don't know. But in a different interview, Michael Krizio also said that at the Olympia he was he was conditioned, really conditioned as he was, but he thought he lost some size and fullness, especially in the legs. And you can definitely see it uh, in this photo, for example, from Mr. Olympia. And he says that at Prague Pro, he's going to come much bigger and fuller, but with the same condition. And if he does that, I mean, he is sponsored by AVLS Prague Pro. If he does that, how good he will be? Like, can he really challenge Samson Dauda? And where will Rubiel mash up amongst these guys? It's gonna be really interesting. I can't wait for Prague Pro. This is so exciting right now. We don't know what Michal Krizio is bringing. We don't know what Rubiel is gonna look like next to the other guys. And uh, is Samson gonna be able to defend his number three in the world title? Let's put it that way. It's gonna be a really exciting Prague Pro. You guys tell me in the comment section what do you think is gonna happen. Tell me your thoughts about Rubiel Mosquera. I don't think I wanna hold him Nexilla anymore. I mean, he is much more than a neck guy. He just proved to us that he can be a great, a phenomenal bodybuilder, actually. He put on all this mass, and with this freak factor, 
Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting to see him against the top pros. So whatever your thoughts are, guys, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.